What's that can't stop laughing moment where you're in a situation you shouldn't be laughing? Back in 2004, I was at my cousin's funeral, and my aunt was in such a shocked state, she couldn't stop laughing. She was known to do this at funerals, because laughing is contagious. I also started laughing a little bit, and I had to go to the back of the church, and to the bathroom to get it out of me. My dad used to say you'll either laugh or cry. I always choose to laugh when I can. Although there was plenty of tears at his funeral I also laughed a lot. Whenever I think of him I think something funny he did or said and although I still miss him it hurts less. So laugh whenever you can it beats crying in my book. I was at church for my grandfather 5th year death anniversary and the guy singing was so bad my grandma and me were almost died from laughter. I did this at a wedding. They'd hired a terrible violinist for their entrance march and it just kept getting more screechy and out of tune until finally I just burst out laughing. There's a scene in The Pianist, which is about the holocaust, where a woman is shot in the street and her body folds in on itself as she falls to the ground. We watched that movie in sophomore year English class after reading the book Night by Ely Wiesel. It was completely silent in the classroom during virtually the whole film, but at that part in particular, some kid piped up from the back of the class, into the silence, with this sad, disappointed tone in his voice, like he just found out the lunch lady was out of chicken nuggets, oh, she folded, so many of us busted out laughing and it was completely inappropriate and I could not help it at all, the teacher was not pleased. I heard a kid fart in church during a wedding, I had to remove myself because I couldn't get it under control. It was one of those loud, echo of the old wooden pew farts. Not me, but my friend. She was getting fired from her job, and all she could think about was what'll it be fellas, mustard, or ketchup, from the Spongebob Squarepants movie. My mother and father went to a funeral of one of mother's aunts that she was not close to. In fact my father had never met her. As they stood at the open casket my father said to my mother she just doesn't look like herself again my father had never seen the aunt before. For whatever reason this struck my mother as very funny and she started laughing. She held her hands to her face and ran from the casket. Her sister saw this and thought she distraught and followed her out to console her. Where my mother had to explain that she was laughing and not crying and why. She was so pissed at my father it was hilarious. When I was in my early 20s my great aunt who we weren't close with, passed away, at the wake, my mom and I went up to pay our respects and I said I haven't seen aunt Dot in 30 years which made my mom start laughing which in turn made me start laughing uncontrollably, thankfully it was a packed funeral parlor and no one seemed to notice, at the wake for the grandma of my honorary sister and brother, at some point, the old biddies from her church decide the children need to come up and say goodbye to her in front of all these mourners, none of which I know. Also this is Eastern Kentucky where everyone knows everyone else. So already people are eyeing me trying to figure out who TF I am and why I'm sitting with the family. Well, before I realize what's happened, the two of them have marched me up there with them and pinned me in between them. I'm awkward in the best of situations, and I'm supremely uncomfortable at funerals. So this is already my personal hell. So we stand there and stare down at her in front of 100s of people. As this somber music plays and the priest instructs everyone to pray for us as we say our last goodbyes. She's wearing this double breasted sailor suit thing. And sis and I are making quiet awkward comments like well. She looks nice when all of a sudden our little brother blurts out anchors away. Old girl. And defying salutes. So my sister lets out long drawn out gasp of what the foo ho -ah and we just start trembling with laughter. You can hear all the old church ladies awwing bc it looks from the back like we're overcome with grief. As soon as we're able to control ourselves, we essentially frog march little brother down the aisle with our heads down and head straight out the door to the car. I had a similar instance at my aunt's funeral a few years ago. The circumstances of her death were pretty freak. She was bringing iced tea out for her and my uncle when she tripped and hit the side of her neck on a lawn chair. My aunt was rushed to the hospital and listed in critical condition. Yet her condition never improved. She was put into a medically induced coma and suffered a stroke which led to her demise. All of this happened within the span of 3 or 4 days. The funeral was held at a church. When my mom and I walked in we were greeted by all of these pictures of her and my uncle, from their wedding day to before her accident. Meanwhile my uncle is trying his best to hold it together and I hear one of my cousins lament, 
all because of a lawn chair, the shock of his statement just hit me, then I realized I was going to bust out laughing. I put my hand on my mom's shoulder and put my head down, so my mom took it as I was crying and pulled me in for a hug. The timing was so, so awful and I know my cousin wasn't meaning to be tone deaf. At a funeral, the pastor kept referring to God as the great comforter and all I could think of was a tacky bedspread glowing with holy light. Every time he said it my giggles got worse to the point I had to pretend I was crying really hard and left to hide in the bathroom. God manifests himself in many forms. I had this really nice but really awkward physics teacher in high school. He was a large nerdy man but spoke with a lisp and a very soft voice. Imagine the guy from office space asking for his stapler. That's how he sounded. One day he is giving his lesson and mid-sentence he goes from this voice to what sounded like Satan himself. Okay class please. Deep hell voice. Take out your books. Cough cough um excuse me must have something in my throat. Then continued like nothing happened. I could not. For the life of me stop effing laughing and I was the only effing one. It was the most bizarre and effing hilarious thing I had ever seen. I had to walk out of the class to catch my composure. This was at least 15 years ago now and I'll never forget it. I have replaced one of your books with the Necronomicon. Open them very carefully. My friends from college and I are still super close even 15 years later. There's an inside joke involving giving people a specific fake name that we always laugh about when we get together. Last week one of these friends tried to kill himself. We'll call him John. John's brother, another of the close friends, called me and told me that John had tried to kill himself and that he was at the hospital. Then he tells me that when asked for identification at the scene of the suicide attempt John gave the paramedics the fake name from college. As sad as I was about what had happened I bust out laughing so hard when he told me. I couldn't help it. I'm laughing now even thinking about it. All of the other members of the group had the same reaction when John's brother called them. All of them. We've got Lake of Fireside property in hell. Cheers. Last year's Thanksgiving. Right before the meal we all stood in a big circle and said a prayer and what we are thankful for. Well my mom's uncle. I will refer to him as uncle. His name is Dick. Yes Uncle Dick. When we all stood up. It was revealed that Uncle Dick had forgotten to zip up his jeans after going to the bathroom. My dad and I were directly across from Uncle Dick and we were barely keeping from bursting out in all our laughter. Then he leaned over to me and whispered, I'm thankful that Uncle Dick remembered to put on fresh underwear this morning. About halfway through the meal we were still laughing about it when grandma came over to yell at us for being distracting. She basically asked what we were laughing at in a not so nice voice. We pointed her gaze across the room and she couldn't help but laugh a bit. We told her it had been like that the whole meal. The way we had the tables set up was a big square of folding banquet tables. So we could look out straight ahead of us at Uncle Dick's boxes. Visiting my grandmother's grave with my grandfather for the first time a few years ago. Expected tears and a solemn day. Instead we passed a grave marked wonder and my grandfather said well I wonder what killed her. None of us could stop laughing. My grandmother would have loved it. Amazing. IDK if there's a name for it. But when I get really nervous, or scared, I start to laugh. Like, if it's bad enough, you'd think I was watching the best scene in the best Three Stooges skit ever made. So I was driving down the interstate when I saw a deer bolt across. It got hit by a car in the oncoming lane. Flew like a ragdoll in front of my 18 wheeler. And exploded. IDK what happened? There was just blood everywhere. It looked like I'd gone on a rampage in GTA. But with blood physics from Mortal Kombat, I pulled over to inspect the damage. Just blood and bits of flesh everywhere. And a cracked and bent grill. I got lucky. So I filled out a report with my company. And took off for a shop to see about fixing the grill. And hopefully a truck wash. And wouldn't you know, there's an open way station just ahead. The dot officer came out to see me as soon I was in sight and waved me over to the inspection area. He immediately starts laying into me about why the hell the front of my truck is covered in blood, and I am just laughing. I mean I couldn't get a single word out. Every time I tried to say something, I got a few words out, and just burst out laughing. Finally his partner starts inspecting the truck, and finds a piece of a hoof. I slowly managed to calm down enough to talk, and we got it all sorted. 
Luckily the DOD officer was having a good day, because he decided not to write me a ticket, and let me use their water hose they had on site to wash most of it off before I took it to a shop to repair the grill. When I was a second year law student, I had a classmate abruptly get up, mid-lecture, and waddled quickly out of the lecture hall. There were about 90 students in the lecture and, in law school, the academic approach is the Socratic method, which is usually the professor and one student going one. One during the course of a lecture class, the dude comes back into the classroom and the professor abruptly halts his current line of questioning with another student. In front of the class, the professor asks the returning student, is everything okay? The student responds bad chapital and walks back to his seat. I spent the rest of the lecture period giggling through the professor grilling students about family law. TL. Dr. A classmate in law school has an explosive bout with Chipittle that made him duck run to the bathroom in the middle of a lecture. My 2L story. One kid abruptly stands up, raises one hand over his head, wails loudly, and then falls over. We're like, WTF, and start to laugh nervously, thinking it's a joke, which, honestly, would be so out of place and inappropriate that it'd actually be funny, and very, very brave. Even the professor cracks a smile. Nope. A seizure. My father's funeral. My daughter was three months old and have a lot of belly pain. She farted so loudly that the priest needed to stop talking for us to stop laughing. He even told us that the church was a serious place, and if we couldn't behave to get out, I told him the deceased was my father, and I couldn't control my daughter's farts. You tell him. Dude. Seriously though, what did he expect y'all to do? Not laugh at the funny fart noise? In school we did a course on mythology and had a project where we had to write our own mythological stories for the creation of creatures places etc. One kid wrote a story about how a man was abusing his horse, so the gods cursed him. One day his horse threw him onto spear which went through the back of his head and out of his forehead, and he transformed into the first unicorn. I couldn't f I stop laughing for a solid 5 minutes. The teacher berated me for laughing at violence but the kid and I both thought that was funny as sh. That kid was creative on writing stories. Yes, but if I was there too, I'd join you on that 5 minute laugh. Mayo. Actually this a really cool idea for a mythical creature origin story. We should try and make it popular. Let's start a viral campaign. Any volunteers to spearhead it? In high school there was 3 religion courses you could pick. Catholic. Evangelic. Edit. I'm told it's Protestant in English. Or neutral. You would have different topics in class and different destinations on the yearly trip. I picked Catholic and on the yearly trip we went to a monastery. On the third day one of the exercises was to talk about death. So there's 20 kids in a circle of chairs and everyone's crying because everyone lost a loved one at some point and death is a hard topic. The teacher starts talking about how she imagines death to be like and begins to tell. I imagine after dying there to be a long long spiral staircase, and you go down and down until there's a door and behind that door. The rest I didn't hear because my friend next to me whispers, a muffin kebab stand we both sat there giggling for like 20 more minutes until the meeting was over. To this day I feel really bad. This is exactly what I expect to find. With my luck, can I help you? This is the afterlife, yup, all the kebab you can eat, except Tuesdays, why not Tuesdays, you have to man the stand on Tuesdays, I can think of worse afterlifes. Was sat at dinner with friends this week one of the kiddos was saying they had extra stomachs for some particular food, started talking about how cows had extra stomachs, then somehow it got to comparing humans cows one of them said in the brightest, most angelic voice, but mum doesn't have udders. I made the mistake of glancing at her husband I swear the filthy twinkle in his eye was audible. Thank if I have long hair I dropped my head down to look at my plate. So my hair covered my expression sat there with my shoulders shaking silently. He asked in a rather amused voice if I was okay as I appeared to be vibrating. Couldn't f I breathe. Used to be a member of student council back in college and this one time during a meeting with the campus dean who was explaining. Very seriously. How some students were shitting on the toilet walls and throwing literal sh on the toilet ceilings which were building up expenses for cleaning. 
was asked to give ideas on how to tackle the issue and I clearly remember trying not to laugh and holding it in perfectly but then as I made eye contact with a friend of mine in the council we bursted out laughing to the point where our stomach started to hurt which lead to other members of the council laughing out loud. It was the first time meeting the campus dean as well after that any time I'd see him he'd give me a dirty look, giving you the old stink eye. My granddad had if you don't know me by now played as the curtains closed at his funeral. Shouldn't have laughed. Couldn't help it. Legend. My dad had queens another one bites the dust on the way in and meatloaf spat out of hell on the way out. He was a character. Saving all of these for my eventual funeral. When I worked with a financial advisor, he misspoke and asked me to check a client's investment in Blackcock, instead of Blackrock, an industry fund. He didn't realize what he'd said, and he was super big on maintaining a professional, humorless working environment. So I couldn't point it out. I managed to keep a straight face long enough to excuse myself. Then spent 15 minutes wheezing in a spare office. When I was like 17 I worked at an Ace Hardware. I found a guy looking at construction adhesives and sealants with the most confused look on his face. So, I asked him what's up. I am looking for cork. Heh. It needs to be black. Heh heh. And I need it to stay hard. Trying really hard to hold it together now. One minute sir, while I find the guy that works in this department, I run off and find the guy that knows corking and bring him back introducing him to the customer as our resident cork expert, and the customer nods at him approvingly, I then escape to the break room where I am dying laughing trying to blubber explain something about hard black cocks to my other co-worker. Some older kid at my school ended up in a coma after taking N2O, I think he ended dying so it's a pretty dark story. And one of the principals came into an assembly and angrily declared nitrous oxide is no laughing matter. I think most of us were too young to know that nitrous oxide is laughing gas but for some reason I knew so everyone was silent scared of the angry teacher. And I was just there trying not to laugh audibly. During a cathedral confirmation liturgy, the bishop let out a resounding fart in the reverberant room as he elevated the host. Immediately, the deacon began swinging the incense pot. Thurible, because the altar boys kneeling directly behind the bishop started holding their noses and waving their hands. Because the altar boys kneeling directly behind. The one directly behind was safe since the bishop could only fart diagonally. Checkmate atheists. My senior year of high school I went to this memorial breakfast with my principal and a few other seniors because my principal was begging a few of us to go and hey, free breakfast. So getting to the end this woman starts singing an incredibly moving song, and she's doing beautifully, but I look over at my principal and he just looks so dead, like his face was completely blank and because I also don't deal well with emotion apparently, I thought it was the funniest thing ever. So while this lady is singing and some people are crying I am losing my mind and trying so hard to stop laughing and I can't, my friends thought I was having a complete mental breakdown. Like I'd finally lost my mind or something. I felt absolutely horrible about it and ducked out as soon as I could. On the best date of my life I went to see a really stupid movie A Walk to Remember. Edit cause many are asking. With my first girlfriend. We were sitting in the 4th to 5th row from the screen and two rows ahead of us were a group of younger girls. One of them is rushing back to her seat with her friends and she slips and falls. It was a nasty fall too and even though I felt bad for her I couldn't stop laughing. It was awful. I don't know why I couldn't stop and I was even like, God I know I shouldn't laugh but that's just making me laugh harder. It took me at least 10 minutes to stop. Girl who fell. If you're out there somewhere I hope my laughing didn't make you feel bad. To this day I still don't really get why it was so damn funny to me. This happens to a lot of us. And that girl will remember that day and she will just laugh about it as well. I was in a local support group for friends and relatives of people with bipolar disorder. One person was relating the story of her older teenage daughter who, in a manic episode, grabbed a flashlight and took it upon herself to stand in a downtown intersection and direct traffic, until she was picked up by the police and taken to the hospital. I kind of covered my mouth and pretended I was having a coughing fit and excused myself to go to the restroom. Guy on the train in visible pain after an exclamation of oh god from inhaling my poison a gas and I can't control myself as he's gagging. Even off the train I continued to lose my composure and choke on unexpected laughter. Even years later I still do. Eater. 
Thank you fellow farty friends for making this my most awarded and upvoted comment. Oh god. My professor was very solemnly telling us during an emotional discussion about when he watched the North Tower fall on 9 stroke 11. I was so horrified that I started laughing. I physically couldn't stop and my eyes were begging for help. I laugh uncontrollably when I'm uncomfortable and that was one of my worst moments. I remember in 6th grade my teacher was telling us how some people talked about random annoyances in the morning of 9 stroke 11 that made them late to the towers and ultimately saved their life. I remember the death glare from my teacher when I burst out laughing when she relayed one about a guy who survived BC he saw a hot dog cart on the ground and was hungry before a meeting and figured he could get one quick and so he went down and saw the plane hit while on the ground buying his hot dog. The way she said that his life was saved by a hot dog was the kicker for me. Went to a roadkill call, human roadkill, and had to scrape brains guts off the pavement with a shovel. While doing so it reminded me that as soon as I got back to the station I needed to start preparing the spaghetti meat sauce for dinner. Mentioned it to my captain and we giggled on the side of the highway while shoveling some poor bastard into a garbage bag. Reminds me of my time as a medical student. We had forensic medicine and went to their autopsy room. Already in the hallway we noticed a very appetizing smell, like barbecue. It was midday and we were all looking forward for lunch. The body was a burn victim and I couldn't eat barbecue for almost a year. At a funeral, there was a slushy machine and my cousins and I wrecked havoc on that thing. Ended up having one of those moments where everything is funny and you can't stop laughing. A slushier machine at a funeral? No disrespect to the deceased, but that sounds like a county fair. It's actually in my will to have a pretzel stand at my funeral. No particular reason I just want people to mouth the words what the f while standing near my grave and some guy is making cinnamon sugar pretzels mere feet away. I had a cousin die tragically 9 years ago. His welding truck was hit and basically blew up. Him and best friend business partner were inside. At the memorial service people showed up wearing shorts and flip flops. My son is 2 and has started talking back from time to time telling us no to basically everything, etc. I know I shouldn't be laughing but sometimes it's just so funny to me that this little person thinks they are calling the shots. Me and my best friend were playing one of our favorite games. She iced the best at PvP, so we decided that we would one volt one and I'd sort of train her, but the thing is she's pretty competitive, and she insisted that I give it my all no matter what happened. I killed her maybe 5 or 6 times and each time she'd progressively get more upset. So I thought okay maybe she won't notice if I tone it down just a little. So I did, and boy was that a bad idea, cause she immediately noticed and called me out on it lol. So I was stuck in a conundrum. Do I keep giving it my all and upset her by killing her more, or do I go easy and upset her that way? The ridiculousness made me start laughing, all while still killing her and her gradually growing more and more upset to the point of tears. Which for whatever reason made me laugh even harder. To the point of that silent retarded seal laugh and I felt so horrible but just kept laughing my a off. I think she realized how ridiculous the situation was though cause eventually her crying morphed into her laughing as well. So I was in the clear mayo. 